All right, guys, so for the past two days, we've gotten one egg. But this is the, the trough, and yeah, somehow they figure <laughs> out how to get poop. And somehow in, leaves and everything. And in, into the trough. Okay, so normally this is how we would do it. We have them sitting next to each other. Just film those. Watch well, it upside down. All right, guys, we're walking out here to the quail. We also have chicken coop over there. And we're gonna take y'all through our routine every night of what we do to get them ready to get through the night. As you can see, they still have a little bit of food in there. You know, some of these are still got water in them. Um, but we'll uh, go ahead and take the uh, lock off, make sure we don't have any eggs or nothing, and get them situated for the night. Yeah, we're still waiting on that first day of coming out here and, and actually having eggs. Can't and, wait. Uh, so far, no eggs, but this is the, the trough, and yeah, somehow yeah. they figure <laughs> out how to get poop. And somehow in, leaves and everything. In, into the trough, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to buy us a little broom to uh, clean, keep this area clean. All right, so let's go ahead and get this open. We think this thing might have settled because this door is a lot harder to get open than it was. They're all over there on the left side. That's good. Keep them out of the way. Okay. So some of these are empty. You want to get all these waters out. Set this on top. Get their feet ready. I have my finger in front of them. <laughs> all right, so we have this five gallon bucket here and we just keep this sitting right next to the Pen, just and has a scoop in it. Makes it a lot easier than having to tote it. At first, we were toting this stuff back and forth between our our shed, and uh, it's a long walk um, to be going back and forth with this stuff. It's hard to do with cold fingers. It hurts. You try to keep that a little bit shallow, right, so that they don't yeah. make a mess with it. Because they'll, they'll, they'll waste it, like, a lot. I usually do about three scoops in it. It helps them uh, get to the next day, till the next time I can get out here and feed them again. And that one there holds about four scoops each day. This one? Yeah, that blue one. Let's go ahead and scoops. top it off, too. Yeah, you might as well. Go ahead and do that. We actually came out here a little earlier. Um, they were real low, and uh, we added some to this. Usually these are both about empty by the time we get out here. All right, that's it for the feed. I'm just gonna go fill up the water. For the water, we have this hose that we ran up from the house um, and it, we keep that on. It just uh, has this to stop it. And uh, all we do is we'll take the bottom off, flip it over, get all the water out like this. Throw it up here. Make sure it's as full as possible. Now we normally do line these up on the ground. Uh, yeah, we we'll have to all each other. We don't do them one at a time. Um, we're, he's just showing you how we actually do this. But um, we, we would normally have all of the watering troughs over here. Um, That's a full bottle. Working on all of them. Okay, so normally this is how we would do it. We have them sitting next to each other. Just um, Just Watch it upside down. All right, so usually this is how we set them up, just so we can get them all filled up at the same time. So we'll start it out slow, that way they don't get knocked over. And then once we get a little bit of water in them, we'll fill them up pretty quick. And while we're waiting for the foam to go back down. And there's a lot of oxygen in our water for some reason. It, it really, our water foams up a lot. There's no soap in it, um, from what you can tell. Because it'll die down quick. It's not like uh, soap where it stays. Uh, it's definitely oxygen. It's just oxygenated water. And then the chicken's water we fill up about every other day, maybe every third day. 
um, so we don't uh, do that every single night, and when we do do that, we um, set that up next to these as well. This whole new watering system, we're hoping, uh, will eliminate the need for us to um, give the quail water every day. Hopefully. That, that's what we're looking for. All right. All right. So now so it's time to just put the caps back on. All we do, put these on here, screw them on. And then we screw them on tighter when we pick them up, just so they don't fall off. All right, this one's a little bit different. You gotta get this one, this one lined up perfectly. Ah, that's the one I hate to mess with. Sometimes you gotta hold it, there we go. Okay, so that gets it. Yeah, and then, that's it. All right, so then we normally would grab two a piece, but since I've got the camera right now, I will grab one. I'll grab two. Oh, he's gonna try. There we go. He's got gonna it. try to get three at a time. And the uh, the quail don't try to jump out very often, but if they do, I catch them pretty quick. They don't go far. It seems like once they jump out, they uh, when they hit the ground, they have to see where they're at and stuff. They get a little disoriented, right? Yeah, as soon they as they the come ground. out. So we're able to catch them. Nail. All right, so we're gonna take them over to the chickens? Yeah, the chickens are next. Make sure they don't need anything. We'll probably give them a little bit of food uh, and then grab their eggs and we'll be out of and, here. And guys, like around uh, our farm, what we do here, our, our pens, like a lot of this, we did pay for some of the stuff. I mean, obviously we had to buy the hinges um, and we had to buy some of the wood, but a lot of this is built out of scraps. Mm -hmm. Especially and, um, that one. Uh, so that's another thing, like the reason I was telling them is really our chicken pen is an old crate. It is crate. Um, and I you see these boards one. that are here on the outside, the, the, uh, all of this, um, this stuff here, <laughs> this is actually, that was the bottom of the crate, right? That was the floor. Yeah, that was the floor of the crate, so. But yeah. it's held up for a long time already. We, all we did was paint it, put some tin roof on top of it, covered it in uh, uh, chicken wire, and it's held up for us, so. Yeah, just no use in putting a lot of money into a, a pen um, to, to get eggs, so. Yeah, this, uh, you can do very little and get a lot from it. On here, all we have is just a simple master lock. Uh, and the reason for the lock is, um, you never know whenever uh, you have kids in the neighborhood that might want to come over and check out the chickens. Well, they open a pen and let your chickens out and, and uh, you've lost all your chickens. Which our chickens are pretty tame. They don't usually try to get out unless they're like really hungry or something, uh, which doesn't happen too often. And out here where we live, at the there's hawks out here that camp out actually above our chicken pen, um, just looking for an opportunity to get in here. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. Right. And we just bring this out here for the uh, eggs. It's a lot easier than trying to carry it by hand. See, like, they'll just stand there and then let me walk in with them. Which their food is pretty much cool right now, but I'm going to top it off. While he's topping off the food, I'm going to show you. We have these, uh, these weeds that are growing over here. Um, they grow all over our yard. If you know what type of weed this is, let, let us know. But um, the chickens love this stuff. So um, while he's getting the feed, I like to come out and just grab handfuls of these weeds. And um, then I'll, I'll throw those into with the chickens. But um, one thing I have to watch out for, there are sticker bushes here. And a lot of times I will um, get a handful of sticker bushes and get them to my hands. It's not a fun thing to do here. Let's see, I've got more of them over here. So I have to pick different areas because each day I, I come out here and grab some and it takes a few days for them to fill back in, especially sometimes whenever I pull them, I get their roots and I'm not really trying to get the roots pulled up right now because the chickens do love them and I, I'd like to continue having them grow here and giving them to the chickens. All right, so let's see what they do whenever I put these into the pen. Here guys. You ready? But, uh, I 
I'm gonna get them a little bit more. You think I should get them more, or is that enough? That's probably enough. It's enough? All right. We Are we good on the water? I only got five eggs, guys. We got seven yesterday. We're hoping to get more soon. But yeah, a lot of these are babies. Yeah, the young ones have, if the ones that have started laying, just started laying. Other than the older, we have five older ones that have been laying for a good little bit now. But the youngest ones, they just started laying, the ones that have started laying. So we're not really expecting them to put out much for another couple of weeks. And so they don't need water? No, their yeah. water's good till tomorrow. Okay. And we'll get that filled up tomorrow. But yeah, this is basically just a big crate, uh, a shipping crate that um, some equipment came in. <laughs> we, we wrapped it with chicken wire, uh, put up a, a couple pieces of uh, old wood that we had laying around on the sides to try to break the wind a little bit off of them. And uh, yeah, painted it's pretty it, much. We painted it just to be sure that it didn't uh, get bad too quick. Yeah, we didn't want it to rot too fast. So. And then the door itself was only like, maybe ten dollars at most or half two boards back. two half inch boards or three, three two or three half inch boards and and uh i don't think we videoed that no we didn't that was a long time ago all right guys so for the past two days we've gotten one egg each day and we didn't get a video of that i uh, wish we did but um today we're coming out we've been coming out around what six o'clock in the evening and um, that's when we're finding the eggs so not really sure what time they're laying it but we know we have at least one female in here what do we have 38 uh 38 birds, birds yeah. yeah we said 38 birds we have at least one female because that's all we're getting on eggs so we're gonna get them out of the way here and uh see if i can look inside they've been laying them in the sandbox They have been in the back right corner, yeah. back there. I'm gonna look through the whole thing though, make sure we don't miss anything. All right, so I am not seeing, there's no sand left in here either. We no, need to get some sand. Yeah. But, uh, I'm not yeah. seeing any eggs. Maybe you can move them out of the way. Uh, keep your camera over there. Yep. Uh, no eggs. No eggs. Not in there okay. anyway. So what we're wondering is if we have 37 male birds because we've not sexed them yet these are um well, they're, they're behind us so just push it slowly for jumbo whites uh, you sex them at what is it eight weeks six to eight six to eight weeks and we've not sexed them yet so um i'm about to smush one how do we get them out of there usually it goes by itself Come on pull it forward and the reason why we want it all the way against the wall is because we don't want eggs getting laid behind it all right so what are they at? Eight weeks now? Yeah, just about. Yeah, almost eight weeks. Or almost nine, I think. Almost nine? Yeah. All right, so we are doing some cleanup out here today. We've had a problem with our latch here. And, um, just didn't uh, get the screw on that side. We're doing a little bit of cleanup out here today, cleaning the, the uh, trays. So we just thought we'd give you an update on, on our uh, journey with the quail. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos and see you next time.